for for this uh, today's uh, webinar. So today's webinar entitled the overseas opportunities for healthcare professional and the career guidance will be presented by Dr. Akram Muhammad shortly, who is uh, residing in uh, Sydney, Australia. And uh, really, I am saying, uh, really, your people are uh, luckiest people because you are getting the opportunity to interact with uh, Dr. Akram Muhammad, who is a uh, founder and uh, also CEO of uh, Academically, that is a overseas uh, consultancy survey. Uh, basically, he is an academician. Uh, he has completed uh, the, almost all the degree existing in the pharmacy curriculum. First, he started with the uh, career with the diploma pharmacy. Later on, he has completed the B pharmacy. Then, uh, additionally, he has done the farm D program also. And even though he has holding the PhD degree also. So, academic is taken by the healthcare professional, not only pharmacy. Uh, for the for physiotherapist and uh, nurse and also MBBS or BDS, so so on. So uh, with this background, I invite, without uh, any further delay, I invite uh, Dr. Akram Ahmad, uh, founder and uh, CEO, uh, academically overseas uh, service, consultancy service, uh, to give you a webinar uh, of uh, today's title. Sir, welcome you, sir. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, how are you? Uh, hi everyone, this is Dr. Akram here. So, basically, we provide the courses for several countries. Okay. So, I'm going to discuss today for Australia and New Zealand. But if you, in case, if you have any other questions relevant to any other country also, you can ask me at the end of the webinar. Okay. And please feel free to ask any question directly with me. Or if you cannot ask, so please write your question in the chat box. Or maybe if you are in person, um, our uh, Abdul is there in, in your campus. You can ask him as well, you know, if you have any questions or any doubt. Okay. okay. So please, I'm here, like, uh, whatever time will take. Uh, and you also can listen, you know, the others asking the question, but I'm giving the answer. So whatever you have questions, like uh, a to Z process, I will give you. In this webinar, but apart from this, if you have any questions, any doubt in your mind, please ask. Okay. okay. Sir, you may able to start. Yeah. yeah okay. Are you guys able to hear me? Clear? Yes, sir. I'm audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So basically, the, this webinar is going to be for pharmacists. So if you completed your bachelor degree, or you are, maybe you are a standard final year, and you are like confusing that, you know, that uh, many of the Indian students, they always complain, basically, you know, uh, pharmacy is not a good course, you know, there is not so much job opportunities, you know. So, this kind of questions I uh, receive every day from students. But this is not the true. A very, very good is, is for you, especially in the abroad countries. The academically is here to help you to build your career in any um, a desired country for you. So, today we will discuss for Australia and New Zealand. I will see the requirement, the steps you need to complete in order to migrate to this country. Okay. Uh, basically, if you are a pharmacist, if you want to practice in Australia, um, registration if you want to do in Australia, then you can work in retail pharmacy and hospital pharmacy. Okay. So for this, if you want to practice in Australia as a pharmacist, uh, then the first step you have to complete called initial skill assessment or also we called document verification. This is very, very common. They will just want to check, for example, you are from the Veteran College of Pharmacy, you graduate from the this college is approved by PCI or not. Okay? So they will check just from your university, for example, you uh, your degree might be from FGR University, right? So they will check with the application, you are 
get good from this university and they will also check your state pharmacy council so once you completed your degree you must be registered in the state pharmacy council for example if you are from tamil nadu you have to go for tamil nadu pharmacy council and if you from from kerala or any other state then you have to register yourself in the any, any state basically you can register they will just check the eligibility yes you graduate from x y z university your bachelor degree or or pharm d or m com whatever you did and plus you are registered pharmacist so this step is completed initial assessment then uh, after that you need to write a kaps exam the full form of this exam called knowledge assessment of pharmaceutical sciences so whatever you studied in your uh, a pharmacy degree bachelor of pharmacy or master of pharmacy or pharm d or even if you did your psc also you have to go with the same uh, exam and they will just want to check your knowledge so i can say it's very very easy exam because you just need to correct the answer 50% i will give you detail in our other slide and apart from this you also need to pass the english test so as a english speaking country So you have to pass one test for CTE or IELTS or OET. Any English test you need to pass, and then you have to apply your permanent visa from India, and you can go to Australia. Also, you can start looking a job, and company can sponsor your work visa uh, from India itself. You can get a job and come to Australia once you complete this. Course. So this is for retail pharmacist. or hospital pharmacist so in these two occupations there is no need to have any work experience so if you are a fresher you just completed your degree you are eligible to sit in this exam or for example if you completed your degree few year back and now you are working any other field for example you are doing like marketing job sales and marketing in pharma and still if you want to become a pharmacist you can Uh, but your experience they will not count because the experience they need from retail pharmacy or hospital pharmacy okay so experience is not mandatory for pharmacist in australia so without experience also uh, you are eligible to apply for retail pharmacist in australia then next is the industrial pharmacist if you want to migrate as a industrial pharmacist you must have a 1 year experience to work in any uh, pharmaceutical industry okay retail pharmacy hospital pharmacy does not need to have any work experience but in industrial pharmacies they need work experience even same for if you want to apply as a pharmacy technician again you need to uh, you, you must have at least a one year experience working as a pharmacy technician in any hospital or retail pharmacy that you can apply okay and uh, some of you might be asked you know a uh, university lecturer also has a uh, possibility to migrate to australia so someone already completed master of pharmacy or phd and at least they have a two year teaching experience of pharmacy students so they are eligible to apply university lecturer but the major difference to getting a visa retail pharmacy or hospital pharmacy is very very easy and you can get this visa is the lowest points but in order to lecture you need to get very high points only then only you can get this visa so this visa is very very tough visa is compared to retail in all so what are the steps you need to take in order to migrate to australia and new zealand so both country have the similar steps same steps Uh, sir, uh, you are on mute. Sir, make it unmute. Again? Yeah, now it is okay. Yes, yes, yes. So this slide I am repeating yeah, okay. again. Okay. So. retail pharmacy or hospital pharmacy if you want to migrate to australia 
does not require any work experience. So, for example, you are in final year and complete your bachelor degree and get just registered pharmacist in your state pharmacy council, you are eligible to sit in this exam. But for industrial pharmacist, pharmacy technician, or university lecturer, they need work experience. Okay, university lecturer need at least two years. Industrial pharmacist, pharmacy technician need at least one year work experience. Then only you can apply. Okay. So the New Zealand and Australia have the same steps you need to complete in order to want to work in Australia and New Zealand. But first you have to decide in which country you want to practice. For example, if you want to practice in Australia, you want to migrate to Australia, you want to work in Australia, then you have to start your process with the Australian pharmacy council. Okay. So where we have to apply your skill assessment or in case of New Zealand, if you want to practice in New Zealand, then you have to apply for New Zealand pharmacy council. And then you have to go for same similar steps like this assessment and CAPS exam, then English. But what is the major difference in these two countries in the eligibility criteria? So Australia does not require to have any work experience. Zero work experience, you can migrate to Australia. But in case if you want to migrate to New Zealand, you must have at least one year experience in retail pharmacy or hospital pharmacy then only you can start your process for new zealand australia does not require any work experience new zealand requires one year working experience in any retail pharmacy or hospital pharmacy okay second difference basically australia give unlimited attempt for example if you fail in the exam in one paper you can write eight times, third time, four times, as many times you want. But for New Zealand, only they give two attempts. Are you guys able to hear me? Yes, sir. My voice. Yes, sir, you can go ahead. Go yes, ahead. sir. Yeah, it's audible. So Australia does not require experience. New Zealand requires one year experience, then only you can apply for your registration in, in, in New Zealand. And secondary, Australia, have you can take unlimited attempt in Australia, but New Zealand only one attempt. I mean, only two attempts basically. First attempt, then second attempt you can take for New Zealand. After that, there is no chance. And these are the documents you need to submit for risk assessment with Australian Pharmacy Council. Okay? So, like your degree, bachelor degree, if you did B form degree or farm D degree, then uh, transcript or your we need your registration as a pharmacist with the state pharmacy council, your passport size, uh, photograph, passport or photocopy, and then uh, Aadhaar card we need your and birth certificate. These are the documents we required by the Australian Pharmacy Council to verify your eligibility to sit in the CAPS exam and they will charge the fees 1310 Australian dollar. So it is around like 70,000 or Indian rupees, around 65, 70,000. And then there is an exam called CAPS exam, Knowledge Assessment of Pharmaceutical Sciences. And uh, you need to uh, write this exam. And the fees you need to pay for two to three zero uh, Australian dollars. So, in these steps, academically, will complete your part one. You just need to provide us documents. And for part two, we will provide you four month coaching. Three month coaching we complete into that syllabus, and one month for you the revision. Okay. So four month total coaching will give you, and we provide coaching until you pass the exam like unlimited coaching we provide you okay and then you need to pass for the english test we'll also provide you the coaching for the english test so all these steps academically will help you to complete so no need to worry okay so here this fees basically again you need to pay to the government Austrian pharmacy council basically are two to three zero Austrian dollars so 
altogether 3540 australian dollar you need to pay to the australian pharmacy council now the exam basically the same day you need to write two papers paper one and paper two so paper one they will ask you the questions from pharmaceutical chemistry and then physiology pathophysiology and pharmacology so 30 button question they will ask from chemistry and 70 button question they will ask you uh, physiology plus pharmacology okay and you just need to score 50 percent overall and individual also individual subject and there is no negative marking they will give you the 100 questions you need to correct 50 questions so that you will uh, pass the exam and next is the then after paper one there is a gap for one hour then you need to write the paper two okay and paper two they will ask you the pharmacotherapy and pharmaco pharmacotics again they will give you the 100 questions and 50 percent you need to score and there is no negative marking so basically they ask the, the syllabus basically these four domains in the exam pharmaceutics pharmacotherapy and pharmaceutical chemistry then pharmacology and physiology these are the four domains they want to check your knowledge in order to practice in australia so this is exam is very very easy only just need to correct the 50 percent question and you can pass this exam in our last exam 93 percent student pass in the first attack so this is in our last exam 60 students sit in the exam and 56 pass in the first attack Sir, especially you have to enlarge the screen, sir. Now the screen is uh, somewhat thumb sized one, uh, so you have to what enlarge that. Sorry, screen is uh, somewhat uh, thumb sized, so you have to enlarge the enlarge the, the screen. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, now it is perfect. Yeah. Now it is perfect. Sir, yeah. Tell me earlier, you know, if there is any wrong thing or something. So now it is okay. Yeah, this is the CAPS exam. Uh, two papers you need to uh, give in the same day. And the exam center available in uh, Chennai and Bangalore. Basically, we have uh, eight centers in India. You can write anywhere, wherever you want. Uh, like uh, we have center in Delhi, then uh, we have Gurgaon, we have Noida, then Pune and Mumbai. Then we have a center in Bangalore, then we have center in Chennai. Then we also have a center in um, Hyderabad. These are the eight exam centers in India. Is there anything? So we have eight centers in India. So you need to just go to in the exam. This is an online exam and you can pass it. Okay. So 50% only you need to score in order to pass the exam. These are the four domains. They just want to check your knowledge. 50% each domain you need to score. Okay. And after you give the exam, within two to three weeks, you will receive the result. And they will give you the letter. And based on that letter, you need to apply your visa and start doing the job. Okay. And uh, you also need to pass English test. So we also provide you the coaching for this English. So like PT or IELTS or OET, any test you can give. But here are the ETS exam like PT, OET, and IL. Here are the ETS exams. Don't go for TOEFL. So these three exams you can choose IL or OET and PT. So we will provide so this assessment we will do for you. We will provide you the coaching for CAPS exam to pass. Then we will provide you the coaching for English test. And then you are eligible to apply the visa. There are permanent visa. You can apply if you are married and you have family, you can go with them. If you are a single, then you can go and you can call your family. Okay. So these are the five visa you are eligible to apply. First two is the PR visa, last three is the work visa. And yeah, this is the thing. And uh, once you pass this, uh, uh, this CAPS exam in English, then you will get a first job. You have to work as an intern pharmacy. So intermediate, it is not a free job. You will get a salary. This is basically a job. So you are working full time. They just give the intern title. Why they give the intern title? Because you are from overseas qualified. 
so you don't know anything about regarding the Australian law, Australian practice. Lot of software you need to learn while you are in internship. So in that case, they give one year internship, and you will get the salary around thirty dollar per hour, or two to four lakh per month. You can earn as a farm teacher, and salary goes up when you got that some experience. Okay. So one year you have to do internship, then you can work in community pharmacy or hospital pharmacy, or later on maybe you can become a clinical pharmacist also. So on an average salary for pharmacists in Australia, eighty thousand to one twenty thousand per year. Okay. So in Indian rupees, three to five lakh Indian rupees per month you can earn as a pharmacist in Australia. An average time will take to complete this process six months to one year. So yes, so this was for the nurses. So if you have any questions, we can now finish here. Now we can start your questions. Yes, please ask one by one. I'm um, so I am happy to. Yes, Yogi Balaji. Yogesh Balaji, please ask your question. Or Suraj Kumar Singh, and we have a one. Uh, uh, this fill no. in the chat box, and please fill this form so our team will get back to you. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Yes, Suraj. Yeah, hello, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. I am following you from the last six months. Yeah, I am from Gurugram College of Global College of Pharmacy. I am a third year student, sir. I want to migrate to another country like Australia or New Zealand. Huh? Sir, which What? will be the better option? Should I join a industry or should I work in a hospital? Only which hospital. is better for migration purpose? If you want to migrate abroad, you want to work in abroad, you must yeah. work in retail pharmacy, any retail pharmacy. Or any hospital form, this will be good for you. You definitely got the job. Okay, sir. Sir, is there chance for industrial pharmacist or any job? No chance and no chance. If you want in industry, be happy in India and live here. Okay, me. The industrial pharmacy is actually not have a good scope in abroad because abroad is a high income country. They have lot of money, so they buy medicine from India. They will buy medicine from China. At a cheaper cost. Why they have to manufacture in their own country? So this is mostly they import medicine from other countries. So this is the uh, issue. I mean the export from other countries. So this is the issue. Not much scope in industry. So oh, sir, one last question. Sir, one last question. Hello. Yes. Sir, if I migrate to Australia on skilled nominated visa, can I do another work? Yes, Or you I can. Have to... You got PR visa. You can do anything. You can do business or whatever you want. You can. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, next please. We fill. Please fill this form in the chat box, so our team will get back to you after this conversation. Also, you know, if you have any questions. Yes, Farmacon. You are a YouTuber. Farmacon work. Yes, sir. So, okay. So, you what kind of content you make on YouTube? Sir, uh, I used to do video about uh, pharmacy and other uh, career opportunities. Okay, that's very good. I mean, many students, you know, in India, in India, I personally feel that you know they are just stick in their college only. So, please do some extra things also. If you have interest in social media or anything. Please explore yourself and do learning. You know, new skills is very very important for you. Apart from your pharmacy degree, yes. Please ask your question. Yes, Farmacon Word. Please ask your question. Sir, I have a question to ask, sir. Please ask. Sir, uh, uh, currently I am studying for Farm Before Kids, sir. 
after completion of graduation uh, do you need to have some other experience for two years as a clinical pharmacist to get qualified as a clinical pharmacist in australia basically you are not understanding the concept of clinical pharma this is the main problem in india indian basically think that degree can give a title so clinical pharmacist itself is a uh, separate domain in australia so you need to earn that title you have to pass separate exam for that so first you need to become a pharmacist in australia register yourself as a pharmacist you start working in australia then after that there is an association called shpa society of hospital pharmacists of australia they they conduct the separate separate uh, uh, this you know uh, this training for to become a clinical pharmacist experience is not required just need to yourself register yourself as a pharmacist in australia so then what the procedure to register sir this i already told that once you complete your farm d then you have to pass this kps exam and english test and register yourself as pharmacist and go there complete one year internship after you complete internship you can become a pharmacist then from there you start to become a clinical pharmacist Oh, okay, sir. Okay. Yes, Hamad Magbol. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, Yogesh Balaji. Please ask your doubts. Or maybe Abdul, you can ask the student. Those are sitting in the room, you know, in the seminar hall. if they have any questions um, so i can take some questions from there students you have to ask the question whatever you have doubt you have to clarify with sir so he is available with us yes please guys ask the question or maybe you know uh, if you have anything in your mind regarding australia and new zealand or any other country if you want you know you can just discuss with me you can ask Sir, tell about the, the prometric examination for Gulf countries, sir. Because most yes, of the Catholics they are asking that. Yes, we provide ah uh, ah prometric as well, but they need two year work experience. Prometric exam, DHE exam, MOH, HAD, these kind of exams require two year work experience after they complete their degree. But Australia zero experience they can migrate. Sir, please can you explain me about the industrial pharmacy program? Sir, can you please repeat? I barely hear the question. Such moment, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, please. Hello, sir. sir. In case of MO, DHA, and NAPLEX, in case of other exams. Do we need to have uh, some more experience in our residential countries, sir, before going to apply for that exam? Yes, yes. For DHA exam, for Dubai, uh, Gulf countries, any country you want to work, they need to. But after that, sorry, pharmacy is not. Industry pharmacy. Industry pharmacy. I am not understanding you know, the question here. Yeah. So there is one question that uh, New Zealand. do any exam for new zealand i already mentioned in the half an hour my webinar this is for australian new zealand the same exam you need to pass for new zealand as well kps exam both country conduct the same exam uh, kps knowledge assessment to form to science kps caps exam you need to write in order to migrate new zealand or australia so new zealand to conduct work experience and australia does not require any work experience Ireland basically visa is not given very tough to get visa, but if there is an exam called uh, PSA, there is an exam is there in Ireland. In Ireland, only farm D graduate only can write that exam. Yes, sir. Yes, please ask question. Sir, do we have any special special separate exams for going for the industry, sir? 
no for industry is not the exam but getting a job is very tough or i can say basically 95% jobs are available in retail pharmacy or hospital pharmacy so they need pharmacists to work in hospitals or retail pharmacy okay to give that clinical services to a patient but industry you can imagine that australia is just a 2.5 cr population it is, might be lesser than chennai population chennai have more population than than australia okay so in that case you can imagine that how many industry they need how many uh, companies they need to manufacture there you know so that's why they have they, uh, they have a lot of money so they buy medicines from india china as you know india currently 150 countries we are you know that exporting the pharmaceuticals because we are producing medicines with very very ch cheap cost so that's why the highest scope in retail pharmacy in hospital pharmacy low scope for in industrial pharmacy in abroad or in abroad generally does not require any uh, any license to work in the industry okay sir thank you sir thank you good afternoon abol samaj yes sir uh, i am from dubai and i'm uh, uh, like looking for some opportunity for pharmacy informatics over there ऐसे कोई अपॉर्चुनिटी नहीं होती है यू मस्ट नीड अ लाइसेंस इफ यू वांट टू माइग्रेट बेसिकली ऑस्ट्रेलिया गवर्नमेंट एवरी ईयर दे मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ ऑक्यूपेशन सो योर ऑक्यूपेशन मस्ट बी इन द लिस्ट इफ यू वांट टू गेट अ वीजा ठीक है अदरवाइज देर इज नो वीजा देर आर सो मेनी अदर फील्ड इन फार्मेसी फॉर एग्जाम्पल फार्मिजिलेंस क्लिनिकल रिसर्च मेडिकल राइटिंग मेडिकल कोडिंग यू नो दीज ऑक्यूपेशन नॉट इन दैट लिस्ट टू गेट द वीजा same for you informatics not in the pr list this is not a specialization so you have to pass the exam become a pharmacist move to australia and then you can find a job wherever you want for example you want to work in informatics you can find a job here sir is it possible to connect with other similar informatics uh, professionals other than linkedin in your experience i have no idea basically uh, this kind of you know uh, not required uh, mostly you know there's there are a lot of automations and ongoing generally with the higher for you know local informatics uh, uh, I, I i i never seen any pharmacist in australia working in uh, in any uh, informatics uh, field thank you sir thank you. yes next please sir can, sir, can you please tell us Sir, about the Ireland, how to enter for industrial pharmacy? Uh, you are asking about regarding the industrial pharmacy, right? Ah, uh, yes, sir. How to enter? I am pursuing M pharmacy, sir. Yes. Pharmacy. So, you know. Okay. Yeah, those are doing pharmaceuticals. You know, so they they can work in pharmaceutical industry easily. Uh, so whether you are a B form holder or M form holder, you both. need at least one year work experience in pharmaceutical industry in order to migrate to australia to get the visa yes next like please one, one year experience of india right yes thank you sir sir suresh so mulek is telling about the internship uh, process sir after the caps he exam third year student last he is asking uh, yes what you are asking sir internship process after the caps exam what is the internship Are internship I process to complete kar le yaar to first please finish your degree and you have one and half year to complete your degree and you are asking after two years what going to be in a three years that's it so anyone pass the caps exam plus uh, plus english he can start looking a job as a intern pharmacist okay so our mostly student those those pass the exam with us most of them already got the, uh, the the visa they are in australia they are working practicing as a pharmacy intern each pharmacy they hire pharmacy intern at least one pharmacy intern some pharmacy hire more than one a two three a pharmacy intern because intern they are paying less uh, salary and they are doing more work as compared to the pharmacy pharmacists will charge around 50 dollar per hour and pharmacy intern they are paying 28 dollar 30 dollar 
so lot of jobs they are you know available for the pharmacy intern so once you pass the cap plus english you can start looking a job as a pharmacy intern in australia and academically will help basically those are from our student you know okay, how they can find a job in what the website how they make their cv their cover letter and what kind of question they may ask you in the interview to be prepare for the future as well yes uh, viresh sir could you tell about the boarding lodging facility yes. once we landed in the australia after passing the after getting the visa if the students are coming there what would be the scenario for boarding lodging and the airport pick up and everything why you are going a student we never recommend to go any student student with us you are paid to one after the no no uh, the one after graduation they are passing the examination and they are coming to australia so what would be the scenario the boarding lodging facility and how much it does it cost this is this is very common basically you know i i i am a north indian i study in annamalai university tamil nadu so i don't know anyone in tamil nadu so i just book my ticket in my train and i went there in chennai then i find the bus where i have to go to chidambaram i reach chidambaram i stay few days in the hotel you know and find my accommodation there the so same for you you know so this is like a same thing you, you need to do when you are going to australia even i i went for australia for me no friend there i don't know any single person in australia uh, uh, when i uh, moved to australia so you just uh, do, do the sim simple things you know you will just find the job and now the employer given the, the accommodation i can show you one uh, good news for you one of our student passed recently the exam and the employer give him 3 years a fully furnished accommodation free of cost so whatever he is earning he is earning that like all the money he is getting he is saving basically but initially at least you need at least 1 to 2 lakh rupees with you when you are moving to australia because it might take some time not uh, if you are not getting a job like like 2 week 3 week maybe 4 week but mostly student got the job within 4 week so this is our student you know uh, so this 27th of may i text him and i asked him you know uh, because he passed the exam in uh, 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 in this week and i asked him uh, job started or not yet you know so he saying that from monday i'm going to start and this is the place i am working victoria is one of the state uh, uh, in the uh, australia so i asked him what is the salary you are getting kitna salary how much how much how much he said at 28 dollar i i asked him this is this is the minimum salary in australia you will get so he saying they are paying him 30 dollar any they are paying more than that the government fix the salary government fix the salary minimum 28 dollar per hour for pharmacist but he is getting 30 dollar and he saying he got free accommodation for him for 3 years so this this company uh, have a one contact with this student that 3 years he has to work they will give him the free accommodation a fully furnished house three bedroom house basically and then you know whatever he is getting the hit getting salary around uh, Six thousand Australian dollars. So most of the he is saving with the Canadian rupees. I can say he is saving around uh, two point five lakh rupees at the moment. Uh, two to two to two point five lakh. So this is very very common thing. You know, when you are moving to one country to another country, one state to another state, you have to find your accommodation. And even for accommod uh, accommod uh, academically will help you. You know, give you all these information once you pass the exam, not before the exam. so we we conduct the webinar for all our students what next after the caps exam so like three things you have to do one for your visa one for job another for your registration as a pharmacist with australian pharmacy council pharmacy board of australia all the information we give to our all students thank you sir next sir viresh you may able to ask question viresh yes, hello sir good afternoon sir hello sir yes yes please ask yes, sir sir i mean now finally b pharm sir okay sir what is the better, uh, better department to choose in m pharm sir <laughs> you know basically if you want to go abroad then directly yes. you can go no need to do any master degree but you know if you want to do master degree and phd you know uh, then yes, is sir. up to you you know 
so many students basically doing master degree nowadays in india because they are not getting a job so in indian yes, farmers sir. they think that uh, if you will do a master degree will get a better job so this is yes, wrong sir. concept wrong uh, information basically in abroad they just need bachelor degree whether it is australia whether it is in new zealand or canada they are not asking you master degree okay if sir. you are doing master degree you are wasting two year two more years and you are also uh, as, uh, you know in those two years you can make some money you know yes so, sir yes sir to go for job any hospital pharmacy or retail pharmacy and uh, we are taking admission basically final year students also so you can start preparation now onwards and once you complete yes. your degree then you can you know uh, give the exam okay sir thank you sir so what is the scope of clinical research sir? no visa for clinical research i already told clinical research pharmacovigilance medical writing medical coding yes there is no yes. visa all these occupations visa they will give you the your own based on your bachelor degree your pharmacy degree you only can get a visa on pharmacist there is no other visa they are issuing like clinical yes. research anyone can work nowadays bsc biotechnology anyone can uh, working in the in, in clinical research so this is not a role for pharmacist even dentists okay. are working in, in clinical research yes sir thank you sir thank you yes please next is there any uh, added value course or experience is required to get a university lecture job over there ah uh, actually i am not uh, clearly listening your i think you are asking some uh, work experience related question can you please repeat or someone else repeat her question sir <laughs> sir uh mudu swami sir can you, can you please repeat her question yeah sir yeah but uh, students in the exam uh, seminar sir you could uh, repeat once again you ask the question ask the question okay uh, please ask your question maybe you can just give you know abdul is there already in your uh, seminar hall so you can ask him also he can give you or maybe if you need also he can connect with me later on also good afternoon sir mera naam akib hai yes sir yes please ask question uh, sir mujhe janna hai ki maine last year d pharma pass out kiya hai to sir mere liye kya scope ho sakta hai better in future pehli baat to ye diploma puri duniya mein kahin bhi hota nahi hai india mein hi ho raha hai तो इसका कोई कोई खास स्कोप नहीं है बेसिकली टू बिकम ए फार्मासिस्ट वर्ल्ड वाइड यू नीड ए डिग्री बैचलर डिग्री मिनिमम फोर इयर ओके बट सिंस जो डिप्लोमा होल्डर ओनली कैन वर्क एज ए असिस्टेंट फार्मासिस्ट और फार्मेसिस्टिकन दे कैन वर्क सो दोज हैव एटलीस्ट वन ईयर वर्क एक्सपीरियंस आफ्टर दे कम्प्लीट डिप्लोमा इन फार्मेसी दे कैन माइग्रेट एज ए टेक्नीशियन तो सर उसके लिए क्या क्या स्टेप फॉलो करने पड़ेंगे वर्क एक्सपीरियंस है आपके पास यू हैव वर्क एक्सपीरियंस वन ईयर या या देन यस देन यू गो टॉक टू आवर टीम दे विल गिव यू ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन वी नीड योर वर्क एक्सपीरियंस लेटर वेयर यू आर वर्किंग हाउ यू आर गेटिंग योर सैलरी दैट यू आर वर्किंग और नॉट यू नो एंड योर योर डिप्लोमा सर्टिफिकेट योर रजिस्ट्रेशन योर आधार योर पास का पैन कार्ड आई मीन ऑल दिस इंफॉर्मेशन वी रिक्वायर Uh, sir i want to one more information with you can i ask uh, english test you need to pass for pharmacy technician okay sir sir mujhe ek aur information janna hai kya aap bata sakte hain aap puchho jaldi uh, sir agar main mba karta hu mba in hospital and health care management ya mba in pharm, uh, uh, pharmaceuticals to iska scope behtar hai ya fir uh, this is very uh, silly or rubbish question इंडिया में बच्चे कुछ भी कर रहे हैं फार्मेसी डिफरेंट डिप्लोमा ही डिड देन बी ए कर लिया और बी एस सी कर लिया देन एम बी एसिकली सिंपली इफ यू आर डिप्लोम इन फार्मेसी देन यू जस्ट गो फॉर लेटर एंट्री बैचलर ऑफ फार्मेसी दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू गो इन योर ऑन फील्ड 
you can work in that field then a better pharmacy after that if you want to go for mba in healthcare management surely it is a, a, a good scope in future if you are interested to work in sales and marketing तो सर एम बी ए इन हॉस्पिटल एंड हेल्थ केयर मैनेजमेंट का स्कोप नहीं है फॉरेन में आपका कहने का मतलब ये है नहीं है कोई कोई नहीं होता एम बी बी एस डॉक्टर वाले लोग यहाँ करते हैं इंडिया से जितने बच्चे यहाँ पढ़ने जाते हैं चालीस पचास लाख रुपए लगाते हैं उनको जॉब नहीं मिलती है तो तुम्हें कौन पूछ रहा है इंडियन डिग्री के ऊपर ओके सर इसलिए तो सर मैंने पूछा आपसे आप एक अच्छे काउंसिलर है क्योंकि हम लोग का फ्यूचर सिक्योर होगा हाँ तो फॉर्म से डिग्री करो अपने फील्ड में जाओ हाय सुजीता ओके सर थैंक यू सर आई एम जा फ्रॉम स्वामी विवेकानंद कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी फॉर फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री सच एस आर एंड डी एन क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस फॉर दैट एनी एडेड कोर्सेस आर सर्टिफाइड कोर्स शुड बी डन बिफोर गेटिंग इनटू देयर एंड हाउ बेनिफिशियल इट कैन बी सर नो 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 आई मीन यू नो इफ यू वांट टू वर्क इन इंडस्ट्री राइट and whether it is a production qa qc fnd okay if you did your bachelor degree then enough or if you are doing master of uh, uh, m form in pharmaceutics or industrial pharmacy so is enough basically you know they are uh, they need the experience they need the skills degree is and that is a secondary thing basically the degree required only bachelor degree and someone have like after someone did bachelor degree from so for example vivekananda college of pharmacy and now he or she start working in any pharmaceutical industry and he or she have a two to three year experience definitely i can say is a good future in abroad also but someone did like m form now is to take you know again after m form also you need to have work experience then only you can market yes additionally if you have a master degree in this field or any uh, specific certificate definitely can help you to uh, crack the interview and getting a job but when work experience is actually very very important thank you sir thank you yes sujita can you please unmute or any other question and please fill this chat box there is one form so you know we can get and you can ask in the form the your question so we will give you the answer sir i am suganya doing uh, b form final year sir now i have one doubt um, what are the uh, benefits as doing as clinical uh, pharmacist in australia when compared to other uh, foreign countries i mean you know first of all you have to think in the uh, three important things you have to consider okay, which country can give you easy visa many countries you might be in your dream so yeah, many student ask me i want to work in switzerland say, i want to work in thailand so thailand is not given the visa to work there and uh, even same for new switzerland is not given the visa to work there so you have to choose a country so easily you can get the visa a uh, second thing you have to see the easily where you can register yourself as a pharmacist for example if i compare with australia with new zealand with uh, uh, canada because many indian student they are planning to go canada or australia right so uh, you need to write this pbc exam for canada and caps exam for australia but caps exam only one exam you can pass exam from india and you can migrate to australia and you can start practice you can start earning the money but in case if you want to go canada you have to pass two exams part 1 and part 2 then only you can start uh, working there and part 1 is very very tough exam 60% passing marks required only 20% student pass that exam so 80% student are fail in in canadian exam so you have to choose which country can give you the easily access visa and you can register there and also I will do job. Any country, if you are going high income country, you will get the similar salary, three to five lakh. Whether it is US, Canada, UK, Australia, or European country also. Okay, so salary will be the around the same. But you just see the which country can give you the easily acceptance. So nowadays, a lot of Indians migrating to Australia. 
you can find a lot of even there is a uh, Tamil uh, page in, in Facebook. Uh, Tamilians in Australia. There are so many uh, people are migrating from there. Even you can find many people from your own own state, your own district in uh, in in uh, 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 I mean in uh, even like in uh, uh, in uh, Sydney, Melbourne. A lot of people are are working there nowadays. Sir, another one question, sir. <laughs> Uh, sir, if any age limit is there for writing the exam entrance exam in Australia? No. So if you are an Indian citizen and if you write the exam in India or Australia, so same English test you have to pass because your degree is overseas qualified because your degree is from overseas. Okay. So you need to pass IELTS or, or PT or OAT, any English test. And same score you need to score. So we need seven individual band in IELTS or 65 individual band in uh, in PT or B score B uh, uh, grade score in OAT in order to register yourself as a pharmacist with APRA. So in Australia there is a, a body called APRA. So whether you are a ph pharmacist, medical doctor, dentist, physiotherapist, all health professionals. Need to register with them as a health professional, and English requirement is the same for everyone. So this is not just for pharmacists. Any MBBS MD doctor also you need to pass the same exam for English. Sir, how many time we can write that uh, entrance exam for coming in? This, this this is like unlimited for English and for this. But since if you are joining academically, our uh, track record is very very high. Ninety three percent student pass. So you know those are not following, not basically studying, not you know uh, revising the content. They only fail. So out of sixty, only three students only fail. You know, so you will most likely you will pass the exam. Don't think like second time or third time because you have to pay the fees for government each time when you write need to write the exam. Not for us, but for government fees you need to write, uh, need to pay. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Priya. Yes, guys, any other question? Sir, I have one question. Yes. Sir, uh, if we are going with IELTS, what are the what is the band requirement for that? Seven individual. Academic. Thank you. IELTS academic or PT academic, you need to choose when you are starting the general. It, uh, is not. Uh, uh, I mean, they will ask you again to write if you uh, give for the general test. Sir, sir, myself from here from Port Family. Is there any yes, working sir. experience or added value course is required to get a job as a university lecturer over there? Lecturer. Yeah. Lecturer jobs. I can see very. Uh, Low jobs or no job for pharmacy lecturer. The reason only eight pharmacy colleges in uh, in Australia. Now you can imagine that how many colleges in Tamil Nadu itself. In India, we have six thousand pharmacy college currently approved by PCI. In Australia, we have only eight pharmacy college. So in academics, very very low jobs or no jobs. I can say it's very difficult to find a job. You can only find a job in hospital or retail pharmacy. My two of my friends from uh, from uh, Dehradun, they are an associate professor in Dehradun, husband wife. Both are PhD holders. They write the exam. Now they are working in retail pharmacy and pharmacist. Now they are very very happy. Okay, so academics is not very easy uh, to get a job in Australia. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, please next. So myself is Aishwarya from Fourth Farm T, uh, from uh, Swami Vivekananda College of Pharmacy. So can you list out top five universities uh, in Australia can do masters yeah, after pharmacy degree? Yeah. Very very simple. You just go in Australia. C O A. So group with scholarship. Of, this is called a group of eight universities. So they are the top eight government universities in Australia. I can show you in a screen share. But why you want to go study there? 
you can just write the exam in chennai and can go in australia you know very easily and uh, you need to spend a lot of money when you are going for a study visa maybe 30 to 40 lakh indian rupees you need to invest okay but for whole process hardly you are investing 4 lakh rupees so if you have 40 lakh then you only go otherwise no need to go on this you just pass the exam from chennai itself and you can go on uh, directly on 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 to australia so this is like a geo it since you are asking so i i'm giving you uh so you just type geo aid okay dot edu dot it so these are the eight top universities in australia okay sir thank you sir okay and these are the government universities and might be you know because they are, they are top universities so you can find here okay so these are the eight top universities in australia thank you sir thank you next please Anyone else? Any other question? I think no more questions, sir. Okay, thank you. So, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. To uh, Bala, you have to give me a what up. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your enthusiastic speech. And you made this afternoon session would be a very useful with your guidance and career opportunities. Once again, thank you. Thank you, sir, for spending a golden time with us. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye. And please Last fill this form. Yeah. OK, bye. Last but not least, now I welcome our delightful person, Mr. P. N. Balasubramanian, sir, Assistant Professor, Department of Pharmacognosy, for giving the vote of thanks. Good evening, honorable present here. This is a time to show our sincere thanks to persons who are all working directly and indirectly for this seminar. It's given give me an immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks for this seminar to all denigrates attending here. The first and foremost, I would like to thank Almighty God for successfully complete this webinar. Then I would like to show my sincere thanks to our beloved chairman, sir, Professor Dr. M. Karnanati, sir, uh, Vegananda Educa Educational Institutions. And also extend my heartfelt thanks to our vice chairman, sir, managing director, sir, joint managing director, sir, joint secretary, executive director, chief executive director for their guidance and support. I would like to express profound grat gratitude to our principal, sir, Dr. G. Muruganandan, sir, Swami Vegananda College of Pharmacy. One saying, thank you, sir. I would like to take this opportunity to express our heartly thanks to our organizing secretary, Dr. M. Raghunathan, professor and head Department of Pharmacognosy for his wonderful guidance and also extend our big thank to our organizing committee members. Now I would like to thank our wonderful speaker, Dr. Akram Agam, sir, for, for spending his precious time with us and to give valuable speech to the participants. Once again, thank you very much, sir. It's a lot, but not least. Uh, one more, my thankful, uh, heartful thanks to the participants. Without you, we can't take this webinar this much successful. Once again, I thank you all for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.